Let's do a Venn diagram. This circle represents all the people in the world who like Christian apologetics. This circle represents all the people in the world who like boats. In this overlap section, we have people who like both Christian apologetics and boats. If you're in this overlap section, I'd like to invite you on a Passover cruise at the end of March, March 25th through the 31st, 2018. That's the week leading up to Easter Sunday. What is a Passover cruise? It's a cruise like other cruises in that you'll be on a boat doing cruisy things, stopping at various ports and such. But unlike other cruises, you'll be getting together for Passover activities and for presentations on Christian apologetics. There are several speakers. Dr. Gary Habermas is one of the world's top experts on the historical evidence for the resurrection of Jesus. Rabbi Kevin Solomon leads one of the largest Messianic Jewish synagogues in the world. I'll be speaking on objections to the deity of Christ and why Jesus had to die. Notice that we'll be talking about Jesus' death, resurrection, and deity. Is that a coincidence? No. Jesus taught his followers a lot of things during his earthly ministry. But in the book of Acts, we see the apostles preaching, and wherever they went, the message they proclaimed was, Jesus died on the cross for sins, and he rose from the dead. Now submit to him as Lord. Death, resurrection, and deity. That's the core of the gospel. And in the New Testament, 1 Peter 3.15, all Christians are commanded to be apologists, to be able to give a defense of what we believe. But most Christians are not able to do that, mostly because it isn't emphasized in many churches today. And we see the results all around us. Lots of kids grow up in Christian homes, but they go off to college and have their beliefs challenged, and they have no clue why they believe in Christianity. So they come to the false conclusion that there's no good reason to believe that Christianity is true, and they abandon their Christian faith. That's what happens when we ignore a command. When we honor the command, the opposite happens. I became a Christian after examining the evidence for Christianity. Nabil, my best friend from college, became a Christian after examining the evidence for Christianity. Marie, my wife, became a Christian after examining the evidence for Christianity. Imagine what would happen if Christians, in general, learned why we believe what we believe. It would be world-changing. So, if you're free this March, or you can get some time off work, I hope you'll be able to join us. If I were you, I would treat this like a vacation, but make it a learning and worshiping vacation. Don't leave that ship without being able to defend Jesus' death, resurrection, and deity. And if you've already studied some apologetics and you can already defend the core of the gospel, you can always learn some additional responses to objections, and you can help out with the discussions. You'll also be able to fellowship with other Christians, celebrating the Passover with praise and worship music, sharing a Passover meal, and learning about why Christ is our Passover. So, the boat leaves Fort Lauderdale, Florida on March 25th and returns to Fort Lauderdale on March 31st. If you'd like to join us on the cruise, I think a $250 deposit holds your place, and you have until December 13th to pay the rest. Hope to see you there. There's a link to all of the information you'll need in the description box.